as I look at ASAE, I think we always need to remind ourselves and our members, our customers, uh, exactly what our core purposes are. And they really fall into three areas. The, the first, first and foremost, we're about the profession of association management. Uh, professional management of not-for-profit organizations is critical, I believe, to the success of those organizations. And so we need to do everything we can to both help people who have chosen this as a career to continue to learn and develop and grow their skill set. At the same time, I think we do need to do a much better job of uh, letting people who are in college choosing a major or deciding what they want to do for a career to understand that this is a very viable, exciting, uh, energizing profession and that there are many opportunities in the not-for-profit community and that uh, you know, this is a career path that could be taken by many and enjoyed by many. So we want to make, get that message out there. Second thing we want to do as our core purpose is to really celebrate, really celebrate and advertise the value that voluntary organizations play on the quality of life that we enjoy in this country. Uh, if you think about it, 50 to 60 percent of Americans volunteer for some organization, yet collectively people don't really look at the power that that has and the impact that that has on the quality of life that we enjoy. Everything from organizations that do good work like the Salvation Army or the United Way or the American Diabetes Association to organizations that set medical standards and guidelines to organizations that establish uh, engineering specifications. There are so many different ways in which voluntary organizations impact the quality of life that we enjoy in this country and I think we need to do a much better job of advertising that, celebrating that and appreciating it and making sure that it doesn't go away. The third area that's uh, critical to what we do is to be the premier forum for the association community to come together with our industry partners. Uh, we, are the, we are the broker, if you will, for that relationship. And uh, what we want to do is take it to the next level. And the next level of that relationship is to say if, if associations better understand the needs and interests of our industry partners, and our industry partners better understand the needs and interests of associations. Together, we can come up with better products and services that benefit all of our collective members. Associations uh, are notorious for thinking they know what their members want. Uh, rarely do associations go out with a disciplined, rigorous approach to market research. Uh, we ought to be continually asking the question, you know, what do you get from ASAE that you like? What do you get from ASAE that you don't like? Uh, what would you like to get from ASAE that you don't get? Uh, and continue to ask the question so that we are providing products and services that meet the needs of our members and our customers, rather than thinking that we're just providing products and services that we think meet their needs. The second area, uh, outside of being a customer-centric organization, is something that I call organizational context. Uh, organizational context is defined by me as having everyone who works in the organization understanding the role that they play in that organization to achieving the core purposes of the organization. So that when you have employees from the, the mail room to the finance department to the CEO's office understanding what the core purpose of the organization is and how their job, how their responsibilities you know, contribute to that core purpose, you then have an organization that is in alignment and people understand and ask, then begin to ask the question, if they're doing something that doesn't meet the core purpose, why are they doing it? And if they are doing things that meet the core purpose, why can't they do more of it or do it better? So that's the, the second area, that organizational context and alignment, I think, is essential for an organizational culture. And then the third area is really it's all about the execution. You know, or associations, again, uh, religiously talk about uh, strategy. Um, and I'm not suggesting that we overdo strategy, but I am suggesting that once you decide on a strategy, it's really about the execution. It's how well you execute. How well did you get it done? And uh, so then when you put together a customer-centric organization where everyone understands their roles and understands their organizational context with a plan for flawless execution, you then have an organization that will meet the needs of its constituents. The biggest challenge that uh, ASAE faces and, and I face in, in my new role uh, is really one of uh, resources. Uh, I think that uh, because of the impacts of 9-11 and the downturn in the economy, uh, particularly given the, the nature of the type of organization that ASAE is, which is an organization that's in the you know, meetings industry, the, the tra travel industry, hospitality industry, uh, that's had a significant impact on our uh, bottom line. 
and uh, not that we have uh, severe financial problems, but it has caused us uh, to be able to be resource challenged. And so uh, what we're trying to do is do the same amount that we did before with less. Now, we could argue that everyone is trying to do that, and uh, to some degree that, uh, that works. But uh, I think that uh, from my perspective, uh, what ASAE has to figure out that is what, what it is we want to do, and then by definition what it is we don't want to do because we can't be all things to all people. And it's very hard for any organization to decide what it doesn't want to do. And my biggest challenge, really, given the resource-challenged environment that we're in, is really working with AS, the ASAE board and the, and the organization and the members to say, okay, these are the resources we have. Uh, this is what we can do well, uh, and this is what we can't do so well, and so what do we want to uh, change? And so that's the dialogue that we're going to be entering into. The, the beauty of not-for-profit organizations uh, is that when you take a passionate, committed volunteer and marry that person with a committed, competent staff person, uh, the results that you get uh, far exceed anything that either party could do alone. And to me, that is the beauty of voluntary organizations, it's the beauty of not-for-profit organizations, and to me, it's the most exciting thing about what I do.